What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, woo! What a fight we had on our hands. What an entertaining showdown. As Olympic gold medalist, two-time unified heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Anthony Joshua, is now 27 wins, three losses, no draws, 23 big win, excuse me, 24 big wins by way of knockout, 34 years of age, six foot six with an 82 inch arm each. As he, in the ninth round, clips and stops Otto Valin, who is now 26 wins, two losses, no draw, 14 wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, six foot six with a 78 inch arm each. More importantly, who was a southpaw. Otto Valin made a serious name for himself when he took on, back in September of 2019, he took on and lost to Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury, two-time heavyweight world champion, former unified heavyweight world champion, now the reigning WBC heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury, who has 34 wins, no losses, one draw, 24 wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, six foot nine with an 85 inch arm age. They fought back in September of 2019, right? This was uh, two stay busy tune-up fights that Tyson Fury was on. He had fought in June, then he was fighting again in September. Uh, he fought Tom Swartz, knocked him out in the second round, then he fought out of Arlene, and he, he struggled with the southpaw stands, the slickness of Otto Arlene, and then he suffered a nasty cut over his eye, and Tyson Fury was down on the cards. But he got the nod anyway, okay? At the end of the day, Tyson Fury, he got the nod, right? Uh, but from that day forward, the world took notice of who um, Otto Valin was, okay? The world took notice of Otto Valin, a slick southpaw that has respectable power and is crafty and can box and is durable. And so Otto Valin became dare I say, a gatekeeper, a measuring stick for up-and-coming fighters or world champions or former world champions. In this case, Anthony Joshua was a former world champion, right? And there's big things on the horizon for Anthony Joshua. A massive fight with Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder, should he be victorious, right? And so there's a possibility that he can slip up, right? He, that being Anthony Joshua, has suffered back-to-back -back losses to Ole Sander Usyk, who was a six foot three, 78 inch arm each, slick southpaw, right? With not a lot of power, but just crafty and able to move. And Otto Valin, after losing to Tyson Fury, had some very, very good wins. He beat Travis Kaufman, stopped him in the fifth round. He fought and beat Dominic Brazil, won a unanimous decision, looked great in doing that. Okay, he beat Marat uh, Gassiv. That was impressive. A split decision victory over him in September of this year. Okay. He also beat Rydell Booker and Oguin and Sokolowski. Okay. But those are the notable names that Otto Valin had beaten. And in this fight, he's going to give Anthony Joshua tons and tons of problems with his movement, his southpaw stands, his activity, his ability to box, and his durability. It's going to give Anthony Joshua problems. Again, Anthony Joshua seemed to have lost confidence ever since he got stopped back in uh, June of 2019 by Andy Ruiz Jr. in the seventh round, dropped four times and stopped in the seventh. He hasn't seemed to be the same guy he was going into that fight, right? And now he did come back and he beat Andy Ruiz in December of that year, unanimous decision. Uh, then he fought Kubrat Pulev. He knocked him out in the ninth round. And then he ran into Oleksandr Usyk. Who was a southpaw again, like I said, six foot three, 78 inch arm each, southpaw slick. Now, all this in the Usyk uh, credentials, he's a Olympic gold medalist, two division champion, former undisputed cruiserweight champion. Now he's the unified heavyweight world champion. So, all this in the Usyk, who's 21 wins, no loss, no draw, 14 wins by way of knockout, is way more uh, qualified to beat an Anthony Joshua than you would say out of Arlene. But they have some similarities right uh where out of is slick southpaw he's actually taller than uh, he's three inches taller than 
Usyk, but he has the same arm reach and he's a southpaw. He's crafty, he's durable, not a lot of power, right? But they slick, they 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 awkward. And that is going to give Anthony Joshua problems in this fight for about seven rounds. Because even against Alexander Usyk, if you go back and watch the fight, Anthony Joshua started to figure out Alexander Usyk. He just simply was not able to capitalize on it because Usyk, again, is a much more skilled fighter, a much more slick fighter and crafty fighter than Otto Valim. He's more athletic, right? Uh, so with that said, I just think that uh, eventually, and again, like I said, he started to catch up to uh, uh, Oleksandr Usyk, Anthony Joshua. He started to catch up to Oleksandr Usyk, right? But again, like I said, Usyk is just more crafty, more skilled, just more his his mind, his movement. It's just better than um, Otto Valim, right? So he was able to make adjustments to Anthony Joshua's adjustments and frustrate Anthony Joshua. When Anthony Joshua starts to figure out the distance, the timing of Otto Valim, Otto Valim is not going to be able to make the same adjustments Oleksandr Usyk made. And therefore, he's going to start getting hit big and clean and uh, and often, right? And I think that uh, he's going to succumb to that about the ninth round. It's just going to be too much. And Anthony Joshua uh, is very frustrated. He has a huge chip on his shoulder from those Usyk fights and the Andy Ruiz fight, right? Again, his mentality, uh, his whole demeanor, everything changed from the Andy Ruiz fight. From that first loss to Andy Ruiz, everything changed, completely changed with Anthony Joshua. And he knows another motivation for Anthony Joshua is that Deontay Wilder is on this card. And Deontay Wilder is going to be the co-main event. And Deontay Wilder, I believe, as you see in my fight prediction, is going to knock out Joseph Parker in brutal fashion, unlike he did. Anthony Joshua fought Joseph Parker, and they went the distance. Deontay Wilder is going to fight Joseph Parker, and they're not going to go past the fifth round. And the world is going to be watching, and he knows Deontay Wilder is going to be sitting ringside because, according to reports, there's already a deal in place for Anthony Joshua to fight Deontay Wilder March 9th of 2024 in four months. Right? So he knows was looming. And he understands that Deontay Wilder is going to be sitting ringside and watching this and waiting to get in the ring. And so he's going to be looking to make a statement. Hence the reason why I said he's going to be having trouble with Otto Valine in the first half of the fight. Because he's going to be pressing the fight. He's going to be looking to make a statement. And one, but by the, it's going to take him a minute to settle in, get in his groove, and then he'll adjust to Otto Valine's distance, timing, slickness, and southpaw stance. And then he's going to land a straight right hand and an uppercut on the inside. And he's going to knock out Otto Valine in the ninth round. But again, he's going to face a lot of adversity in this fight. He may even get hurt. He may even get dropped in like the third or fourth round. Don't be surprised to see Anthony Joshua get dropped by Otto Valine in like the third or fourth round. Not that he'll be hurt but just off balance and the angles of Otto Valine, the length, the size, and the timing of Otto Valine, catch him off guard, and he could get clipped, right? Um, he won't be hurt. He'll weather the storm. He won't get knocked out. And he'll get up, and he's going to knock out Otto Valine. Um, I think it's going to take two knockdowns in the ninth round, and then he's going to win the fight. And then Deontay Wilder's getting the ring, and they'll begin the promotions for their March 9th showdown that – I'll personally be at. So with that said, this is going to be uh, very entertaining, um, very interesting. And um, Anthony Joshua is going to get a ninth, uh, ninth round knockout victory over Otto Valine. And again, he's going to want to make a statement. He's going to feel the pressure. The whole world is going to be watching him. 
The world's going to be watching Deontay Wilder as well. But not with the same expectations that they're going to be watching Joshua because they're going to have witnessed what Deontay Wilder did to Joseph Park already. So I got Anthony Joshua, my final fight prediction, knocking out out of our lean in the ninth round. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. And I wouldn't be surprised if he gets past the ninth round and gets to the 11th round. Because in, if he gets past the ninth round, Joshua will take off the 10th round and knock him out in the 11th round. I won't be surprised at that. So let's see how this unfolds. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.